Hello beautiful Capricorn and welcome to your general tarot guidance with me Julie Poole. Hello, yeah I look a bit different. I've had a, a make and a makeover. Uh, so anyway, we are looking at Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross watching and this is a timeless reading. Alright guys, so whatever, uh, whenever you find it, whenever it resonates, you might watch it now and think nah. Come back to it in a week or two and you might think oh okay let's see what we get we are starting with a few oracle cards to get the themes what do my capricorns need to know right now please what is the key message for my capricorns okay we have got building oh we've got another one under there building blocks and TikTok, and time to go okay all right this does seem to be quite a strong theme at the moment all right so the building blocks is all about building something that is right for you going forward, all right? What used to be right for you might not be right for you anymore because of these changing times, these changing energies, these higher vibrations. So do you see the way she's scratching her head there, right? She's kind of there going, um, what shall I do? I don't know. Let's have a think about this. Um, and this is all part of what's going on with the planets as well. With Venus retrograde, it's really making us look at what do I truly value? What's really important? It's really making us review. So you are looking at what you are building and you are in this energy of being able to build something new should you choose to, okay, which is lovely. All right, now, the TikTok is what it says on the tin. It's all about timing, all right? Number 30, which is a three, which is all about expansion. So am I a little bit stuck? Am I delaying? Am I putting off? Or perhaps circumstances are out of my control at the moment, but I'm building those blocks in terms of coming up with a strategy and a plan. And then when the time is right, I'm going to hit. We'll see what the tarot want to add to that TikTok, because sometimes it can be going with divine timing just kind of surrender and let go like the hanging man or other times it's like now like now get on with it now um and because it's with the time to go card this would suggest it's now all right so the time to go there she is going down that uh that wooden bridge towards that door like cinderella running out of that um party um so there we go with that what number is it 45 so that's a nine kind of nearly there all right she's not there yet she's not at the door but she's certainly on her way all right now i want um an oracle card as well and then we will go oracle animal oracle and then we will go to the tower and bring the camera down all righty so <clears throat> oh, i found a new house i am moving in three weeks and i'm very excited Oh, can't wait. All right, now then, we have Dear Spirit. Okay, bring a gentle touch. Okay, so this building blocks, this stuff that we're doing here, that we are building for the future, number 18, that's another nine, all right? So it's kind of, we're on our way here, Capricorn. We're on our way into building something new, and we want to do it in a very gentle, loving, and easy way flow ease into it that's what they're saying ease into it there are times that we need to launch ourselves and just go for it and other times we just want to ease and we're in this easing energy so go with it gently okay let's bring the camera down um let's get them organized for a little minute all righty Okay, that's not right, is it? Is it my camera not straight? Oh, it'll do. Oh, listen to me as a Virgo saying it'll do. <laughs> that's rare. <laughs> All righty, let's find out some more then. For my Capricorns, please, let's put some meat on the bones. Let's get some detail here, please. Okay. Oh, Ace of Coins. Nice. Lovely. We are liking that. Building blocks to create a greater security more money that could be a new job let's find out some more right we're ready okay oh and a victory card six of wands and the ten of cups oh capricorn this is looking exceptionally good and oh my days the tree of life well indeed indeed this is super absolutely super um do you want the other one now 
No, we want to talk about, I'm listening to my team. Sorry, that's when I pause, I'm listening to my team. Okay, so we are building blocks for the future. We are stepping up here. Let me show you this card a little bit closer. If it, the camera will focus, there we go. All right, 28, that's a 10, that's a one. That is all about my leadership. I'm in charge of my life. What do I want it to look like? What do I want it to be? How am I moving forward with this into my new beginning? Now, some of you, this can be a new job, a new home, because the coins, yes, they represent money. Of course they do. But they also represent that which will give you a solid foundation, a fresh start. So it could be a new home. It could be a new job it could be you applying for a job at this stage okay but it is time to go from where you are that TikTok card there the time to go and the deer bring in a gentle touch doing it gently all right but you're going to be victorious so those of you who oh look at this paint all over me that was from yesterday and I've had a shower you miss bits you know okay why is that they say okay you've missed a bit all right that's why i suddenly noticed that little bit of white paint on my arm you've missed a bit capricorn have a little look right what are we looking at please right when we talked about what are your values we can get stuck in well that's what i've always done so that's what i should continue to do and that's what's always been important and we just kind of get caught up in well that works well, it might have worked before, but it might not be working now. So have you missed a bit? Have a little look again, okay? All right, so the TikTok is saying the timing is now because of that victory card, okay? We want to get on with this now. Now, you might not be starting this job now, but you might be applying for it, or you might be in the middle of putting your resume, your CV together. Some of you might be deciding that you're moving home and you're reaching out to the realtors, the estate agents, and you're starting to get your house ready. So we're not kind of at the finish line, but we are certainly on our way it is time to go from where you are all right like with me leaving this house there is just not enough nature around here for me and it it's I've struggled with the lack of nature all right live on a quite a built-up estate and so I've got a new place that's surrounded with nature and trees and lakes and it's just more me all right so I know it's time to go I've been I'm in an hour and about it for a year and then it builds and it builds and it's like now OK, so I got to wait three weeks, but I it's in process. Do you see what I mean? Whether this is a job for you, whether this is a home, whether this is shifting your investments for some of you, the building blocks, perhaps you are scratching your head here because your investments have not kind of built the way that you thought they would build, you know, and you kind of go, well, is it worth leaving it there? Should I move it? What should I do? So the time to go would say, yes, move it. OK. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Disclaimer. OK, however, it resonates for you. But what you're aiming for here is the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful. We want to move into a place where we feel content and happy on all levels. Now, very often we're OK in one area, but not another area. What we're trying to do is say, yeah, I want to feel fulfilled and enriched in my personal life, in my work life for those of you working in my hobbies interests in my health in my well-being I want it to come together and the tree of life and some of you may not know this card all right the tree of life is basically it is every tarot card in the deck all in one all right so what we've got here is all the different numbers We've got the energy of the king in the middle and the knights. It's it's all there. Basically, the tree of life is saying, see, you've got the Q for queen. You've got the A for the knight and the king and all the different numbers. The P for the page. This represents all of the tarot coming together. All right. All of the tarot coming together. So we're saying you've got it all here. It doesn't get any better than this, Capricorn. This is such a good time for you to grab hold of this and harness it, all right? So harness the energy that is there supporting you right now. All righty. Let's find out some more. We clearly want that one sticking out. Okay, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant. 
So this is looking so good. All right, they're saying shuffle again. Another couple, please, for my Capricorns. This is really good. All right, we've got the um, new moon around now as well. I can't recall when. We've got the um, the energies are very, very supportive. Okay, now look at this. <laughs> we've got the Hierophant and the High Priestess looking at each other. This is significant, okay, because the Hierophant is, is the Pope. It's like the High Priest with the High Priestess. And they are looking at each other saying, everything's coming together now. Everything's coming together, Capricorn. We're taking action. That Knight of Wands is an action card. If I'm going to build something for the future, if I'm going to build my Ten of Cups, if I'm going to build my new world, I need to do something about it. So in what way am I doing something about it? This is an action card and we are building something here that is going to be victorious with that Six of Wands. All right. He has been through a battle and he's fought it and he hasn't given up and he keeps pushing and then he gets there. And that Hierophant is there supporting it, saying, right, this is about long term, secure, stable foundations. The building blocks of something solid that is going to last. That's a very Capricorn energy. So you are in that energy. This can be contracts as well. This can be marriage. This is uh, this can be all the coming together for a new home or whatever it is for you. It's a general read. So how apply it to your lives. You know that. All right. And the high priestess is your intuition, your instincts, your soul, your higher self, moving you towards that, guiding you, giving the nudge, giving the aha moments to say, right, come on, we are ready. We are ready. And you don't have to do it on your own. The three Three of Pentacles is a very supportive card, it's a teamwork, collaboration card. So if you are going for a new business, then you've got the bank helping you or support helping you or staff helping you. If you are um, buying or selling a home or moving rentals from one to another, then the letting agent, the realtor is helping you. If this is a job, then the recruiters are helping you or maybe a member of your family who has to look over your resume and say any ideas. You've got support here in a very gentle and loving way. This is fantastic. This is one of the best readings I've done for you for a while. You've had some good ones over the last few months and you've had some not so good ones because, you know, that's life, isn't it? Let's get a little bit more detail. But I mean, Capricorn, this is looking pretty solid, my beautiful people. Absolutely solid. OK, so we've got the hanging man. We said this about the gentle stuff and the timing, didn't we? About we are taking the action. You are taking the action. Sometimes it's like, don't do anything. Just wait and wait and be patient. No, we're taking the action, but then we are letting go. All right. So there's a fine line here between doing nothing and doing too much. In the middle is this place that is the sweet spot that says, I've taken the action and now I let go and trust that it's on its way. OK, I let go and trust that it's on its way. Bottom of the deck, we've got the chariot. It's on its way. And the three of cups, a celebration. And the ace of wands. There is that new beginning. So two aces. OK, the hanging man would be something like I've applied for the job. I've applied for the house. And now I'm just going to surrender it to the universe and say, if it's meant for me, it will come to me. Thank you for bringing me into alignment with that which I seek, that which is in alignment with my highest good and my best life. And then it moves forward. If we push too much, you know, like if you apply for a job and then you emailing them, calling them, uh, you know, have I got an interview? Have you chosen me? Have you picked me? You're just going to alienate yourself from them. You know, what we chase runs away. So take the action and then stand still and wait for it to come to you. OK, so with that three of cups, there is a celebration here. That new beginning, time to go, tick tock, chariot, ace of wands. It is so clear here. That new beginning, the doors are opening for you to move into just your new best life. Yay. Let's finish off with an angel card. All right, Capricorn. Angel card, please, for my beautiful people. What is the message from the angels, my Capricorns, at this time? 
growing all right love it okay love it because threes as we said threes are about expansion and growth okay and we talked about that so here we have the roses because roses grow very very fast and as the petals fall away from one another one pops up it and we've got the fairy here okay yeah and here so you are growing you are in an expansion an expansive a stretching out a i want my life to be bigger better brighter we are evolving Capricorn, this is a wonderful reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on my channel. I am sending you much love and I will see you next time. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.